Hi, I'm Starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness, because that's when stars shine brightest. If you've been looking at our website, starborninstitute.org, you would already know that the title of tonight's show is Flying High. And that is because you could have some sort of plan for your future that is, even if it's just at the beginning stage, or even if it's only in outline form, it could be aspected for success soon. And that is because there is a, the Sun and Venus, which are in Gemini, and they are trining the Moon today in Aquarius. And Gemini does rule part-time or temporary efforts and plans and communication, and Aquarius rules the future. These three planets are also trining the sign of Libra, which rules peace and partnership. So even if your uh, plan or new idea is just in a sort of a temporary project stage, or if it has to go through some sort of trial period first, still it is aspected for success. And that is because it not only could succeed eventually, but it also could bring some sort of harmonious compromise to people who have been among opposing factions. In other words, maybe they had been arguing with each other, but somehow your new idea over time could calm them down a little bit and get them together. And yet, these disruptive arguments and heated discussions won't stop right away, even though you have a good idea. And that is because Mars and Mercury are still tightly conjunct in Cancer, which rules our emotions and endings. And they are opposing Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn, which are retrograde right now. And since they're going head to head, this means people who have continually stuck to their own point of view very stubbornly and sort of gotten nowhere with it are continuing to do that. But on the other hand, if you come through with some new idea or part-time or temporary project that you think has got a lot of potential, you could be successful because there could be a lot of distractions around you with all these people arguing. And for that reason, no one would notice too much what you're doing, and you could go ahead and try to accomplish something without too much scrutiny, which would be rather nice for you. However, nothing's going to happen overnight, and it may take you clear until the fall to get your idea into some sort of solid format. And the reason why is there are probably just too many retrograde planets to be able to zoom forward without any obstructions. In fact, Jupiter is retrograde in Sagittarius right now, and it is joining Saturn and Pluto, which are retrograde in Capricorn. And then on Saturday, Neptune will go retrograde in Pisces. That makes four planets. And then in just a few weeks in July, Mercury will go retrograde as well. And that makes five retrograde planets. So while some people are going to have a lot of explaining to do about their past hidden activities as the truth is revealed, and even though they may have to pay some sort of retribution right now because of their activities, you could be flying high with your really good ideas because they could be on firm ground by this fall. And so the only question that you really need to ask yourself is, will it pay off? And that the reason why that's a very good question to ask is because Jupe, or the moon in Aquarius, which does rule the future and is a fixed sign, is harshly squaring Uranus, which is the ruler of Aquarius, but Uranus is in Taurus, another fixed sign, and it's a financial sign. So you're going to have to ask yourself sooner or later if the idea that you want to have fly high is going to really pay off. The, the um, chances of it doing that are pretty good right now. In fact, by this fall, you could be pleasantly surprised 
that your great idea can be not only flying high, but it is going to do that and it's going to stay there. And that is because you're going to have a lot of helpful cooperation from other people who are also excited about your idea. So you are going to have help. All right, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, for you what it means is that you've sort of got a choice right now, Aries, and that's because there isn't anything in your sign, but there are five planets that are right ahead of your sun sign, and they're all direct. They're all moving forward. There are another five planets which are behind your sun sign, and by Saturday, four of those will be retrograde or going backward. So Aries, what are you going to do? Are you going to stay in the past or are you going to go forward with some new idea that could fly high? I strongly suggest you to choose the future, Aries, because those planets that are ahead of you are all moving forward dynamically. And it can be that if you get a little stuck in the past, it may be hard for you to get away from all of that. So this is a time when you're going to have to choose whether you're going to go back to something or whether you're going to go forward instead. And I really urge you to um, go forward into your future, Aries, because Jupiter in Sagittarius is still trining your sun. Now it's retrograde, and retrograde planets mean that things slow down or we have to go back and check things a little bit. But it'll go direct, and it will still be trining your sun until December 3rd. So this is a time for you to make the most of whatever good idea you've got, Aries. Go to it. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, this is a time, since yours is a fixed financial sign, when it's you that should be asking the question, will it pay off? And I think that something that you want to do, even if it's just part-time, or even two things that you want to do, both of which are part-time, I think both of them are going to pay off, Taurus. And that is because your own ruler, Venus, is in Gemini along with the sun and they're being trined by the moon, the other light. That is absolutely wonderful. And also, there, the possibility of you being able to work a little bit, in other words, part-time on two different things, will be good. It means that you don't have that much pressure to make sure everything gets done exactly when it's supposed to. So if you do suffer some sort of sudden financial fluctuation or change, my advice to you, Taurus, is make sure the whole time that Uranus is in your sun sign that you have a little reserve account somewhere that you can draw on if you ever need to dip into it and make up for a shortfall. That could be the possibility for the next seven years. But at the same time, you could have a rather pleasant a financial surprise anytime in the next seven years as well. So I think this is a time when you can fly high, particularly if you're not in a hurry. And eventually, yes, it will pay off. Okay, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, this is a time that is sort of now or never Gemini. And the reason why is that sun is at 29 degrees of Gemini, the degree of fate in your sign. And then Venus is in your sign as well. That's wonderful. And they are both being trined by the moon in Aquarius. And that simply means that, yes, you should be having some idea, maybe even two of them, since your sign is the twins. And that could be sort of having the potential to fly high, and both of them could be successful. But if you're just sticking to one idea, I think that it's really going to take off. It might not take off completely and get on firm ground until this fall because there are so many retrograde planets, three right now, four by Saturday, five by next month. And when planets go retrograde or backward, we pretty much have to go back and cover ground we've covered before as well, make sure everything is done correctly. But that's all right because the more thorough you are over the summer, the more successful you'll be in the fall. And so I think that you are going to be flying high, not all at once, but the good news is whatever you're, you're anticipating not only is going to fly high, but it is going to stay there. 
So I think you really are going to be successful, Gemini. And as I said, it's now or never because that sun is at the 29th degree of fate in your sign. Okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, this is a time when you still have to sort of be silent. And the reason why is that Mars and Mercury in your sign are tightly conjunct and they are still opposing Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn, which are also conjunct but retrograde or going backward. Because they're retrograde, it does mean that somebody who is in, high up in management in a large corporation or a government agency or in some community group is losing their grip and they may not be such a threat to you. They may not be trying to control you as much, which is good. So that could lessen your frustration, which you may have been under for months right now. But the reason why you still need to be quiet is because you know, you're almost at the end of a very frustrating period of time. And so you only have a little longer to go. And the reason why is that Mars is so late in your sign now, it is about to leave and go into Leo. And when it's gone, so could a lot of your troubles. However, I said everyone is going to have a chance to fly high if they're sort of thinking of something new to do, even if it's only in the uh, beginning stages or, or a plan that is only in outline form. And that could be you as well, Cancer. <clears throat> There really is the possibility that something you have been thinking about and planning for for a long time is about to get off the ground. Venus is in Gemini right behind your sun sign. So there is a rather nice change, easy but nice change, that can be made in the background of your life. It may be somebody you're associated with that is going to make that change, but it should work out pretty well for them and for you. So congratulations. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, this is a time when you really should stop and ask if your good ideas really will pay off. And the reason why you'd be wise to act that, ask that question sort of early on is because the moon in Aquarius is opposing your sun sign and that Uranus in Taurus is squaring your sun sign. So if you are contemplating some sort of new plan or new beginning, or even two of them, or a short trip. Those things should work out, but perhaps not as quickly as you would like. One reason could be because there could be a fluctuation in money right now. Uh, that's because that moon is squaring Uranus and Taurus, and Uranus is squaring your sign. And so, it, you know, as, as the thought of your income or your investments go up and down, I would say this is a terrible time for you to take a gamble on anything, Leo, so don't do that. So, so don't stick your neck out right now. But on the other hand, with the Sun and Venus in Gemini sextiling your Sun and that Jupiter in Sagittarius trining your Sun, in the long run, some idea that you've got for change that involves the future, not the past, is going to be successful for you, Leo. It's just that you have to develop a sense of caution about it and a lot of patience. Mars is about to come into your sun sign. There could be a few hang-ups, and so you're going to need to be very, very careful. But still, by the fall, you should be on firm ground with something that's flying high and bringing a smile to your face, so you can look forward to that. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, this is a time when you still need to be pretty careful because of one thing you may not know who to trust since Neptune in Pisces is opposing your sun sign. And Neptune is going to go retrograde on Saturday. And when it does, since Pisces rules things that are hidden behind the scenes, it simply means that you are going to learn the truth about something that somebody has been hiding from you or conveniently omitting from telling you about. And that could open your eyes a little bit, Virgo, to somebody who has been rather deception, deceptive with you. And then um, the Sun and Venus in Gemini are squaring your Sun, and so are 
so is uh, Jupiter and in Sagittarius, and there are going to be more and more planets that are retrograde. I don't think that anything is hurting you financially, Virgo, and I don't think it's going to either because you're under wonderful as aspects to be able to handle your own money and your own investments really well, okay? But as far as relationships go, I think that if somebody else has some great high-flying idea, it may be a wonderful idea, but you ought to check the source before you believe it, Virgo, because there can be some people that are gonna have a lot of explaining to do once the truth is revealed. And I think you need to go through a, a period this summer of sorting out what the truth is before you believe anybody. And that way, whatever good idea you have that can be flying high and getting developed, that is what could be on solid ground, particularly by the new moon of August 30th when there are five planets in your sun sign. You really are going to take off on something, Virgo, but you better check to see that everyone around you is reliable and trustworthy first. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, this is a wonderful time for you because that sun and Venus, your own ruler, are in Gemini and they're trining your sun sign and now the moon is in Aquarius and also trining your sun sign. Lucky you, Libra, you have the power of the lights in your favor right now. Plus, it's your ruler that's trining your sun and that can bring you somebody who's rather good looking and very nice and compatible, in other words, charming, could bring somebody like that into your life, which would be great for you, Libra. And it could take your mind off the distractions that have been frustrating you for quite a while. While Mars and um, Mercury have been in Cancer squaring your sun, and Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn have been squaring your sun. Now that's continuing for now, but it's not gonna last. Mars is gonna move on. And by fall, Saturn and Pluto will both be direct. That, that will ease a little pressure from you, Libra. But for right now, you really should look forward to some idea or plan that you have, even if it's just on a trial period basis, because it's aspected to fly high. And it is aspected to sort of get up there and stay up there. In other words, to be more successful than you anticipate. So I think you have a lot to look forward to. And you really do need to get away from people who are just arguing with each other all the time and trying to argue with you. You got to turn that off or get away from them, Libra, because that's not the way you want to live your life <laughs> anymore, I hope. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? <clears throat> Well, Scorpio, this is a time when I think that you can be anticipating that some new idea is going to fly high and get off the ground. But remember I said it's not going to happen that fast for two reasons. One of them is that there can be a lot of people that are arguing with each other and they can have rebellious attitudes and they're sort of stuck in a rut and it's an angry rut. So. So these people have to sort of get over it and it's going to take them all summer to do that. So that it could buy you a little time actually, Scorpio, because I think that you are going to be able to go forward with some idea that is sort of just at the beginning stage. And it could go through a trial period or it could be something that is just a temporary project and once that temporary project is successful, there could be a next step to take until finally things could really work out pretty well for you. What you have to get past is all the retrograde planets that are coming up because as there are going to be five retrograde planets within a month, you know, a lot of people are going to go back over ground they've covered before and more truth will be revealed and you really have to get past that time frame first. Scorpio before you can launch some good idea of your own that involves the future, not the past. So take your time. You, you do have at least until this fall before you have to really concentrate on something. And in the meantime, there could be a whole lot of people that are deciding that the arguments aren't worth it and they decide to give up. And if that's you as well, then you're going to be a lot happier if you just sort of quit fighting. <laughs> Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarius? Well, Sagittarius, this is a time when I think that 
it, somebody else is going to have a great idea and sort of really run with it and it will fly high and be successful. But you might be left out of it, Sagittarius. And the reason why is that there's only one planet in a fire sign right now. It's Jupiter in your sign, but it's retrograde or going backward and it is opposing the Sun and Venus in Gemini and it is squaring Neptune in Pisces, which is also about to go retrograde. Because there are going to be uh, four retrograde planets by this Saturday and five within a couple of weeks, I would say since one of them is in your sign, Sagittarius, that you have got some unfinished business that you have to attend to first before you can go forward on your own. And it's something that you don't want to do but that you have to go back and you've got to tie up those loose ends. They may not be fun and you may not like it, but on the other hand, if you don't do that, you can't go forward either. And you've got your whole future in front of you. And Jupiter is in your sign and it will go direct. It's just retrograde now, indicating that you've got to finish something first, Sagittarius. So the sooner you do that and get over it, the better. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, this is a time when I think you two have just about had enough of people that are clinging stubbornly to their own opinions which don't agree with yours at all. And so I think that instead of continue to, continuing to sort of knock heads or disagree, and that's because Mars and Mercury in Cancer are opposing Saturn and Pluto in your own sign, but they are now retrograde. I think you may decide to go back to square one and do things th the way you want to do them because they make sense to you. And one of the things, one of the questions everyone should be asking is, will something pay? And that is something that a Capricorn would always ask or wonder about because your sign is very cautious and frugal with money. And so this is a better time for you to concentrate on the future. The moon is in Aquarius right ahead of your sun sign. It's being trined beautifully by the sun and Venus and Gemini. So if you've got some new plans ahead of you, Capricorn, that's what you should be going for. And leave anybody who is argumentative or stubborn behind you because Saturn and Pluto will go direct. These retrograde planets will go direct. And by this fall, whatever new idea you're just sort of thinking about right now could fly high and be very successful by the holidays. So uh, give that a try. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, this is the time when, you know, the stars are with you, Aquarius, and the reason why is that the moon is in your sign and it is being trined beautifully by the sun and Venus in uh, Gemini. And together, those three planets are all trining the sign of Libra as well. So you may have a feeling that some creative idea of yours, even if it's sort of ahead of its time and you don't have it all worked out, but at least you've got the idea, you could be thinking that, well, if I could get a few other people together, maybe something could come out of it. You would be absolutely right, Aquarius. This is the time to join forces with enthusiastic, helpful people that sort of want to come on board and give something a try. And also that means that once they're enthusiastic, enthusiastically looking or working on something new, they can forget what they used to be mad about and they can get over it. <laughs> that would make everyone happy. So I think that you are going to continue to work on something that's going to fly high and maybe stay there, but you too have to ask the question, will it pay? Because the moon in your sign is squaring Uranus and Taurus. And my advice is simply have another nest egg somewhere to borrow from if you do experience some uh, slight setback in financial resources. Have some way to cushion yourself against that if you can. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, this is a time when I think that um, you are gonna have a lucky chance to go back 
and set the record straight on something. And that's because Neptune in your sign is going to go retrograde on Saturday and it's joining three other retrograde planets, Jupiter and Sagittarius, which will is squaring Neptune in your sign and Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn. And then when Mercury goes retrograde a few weeks after that, you may be able to find the words to say what has really been in your heart or on your mind. So it's you that it has got to go back and sort of uh, heal something up, Pisces. You either gotta heal yourself up or you've gotta say or explain something that will bring healing to others. The water signs rule healing. And you know, in the Bible it says, physician, heal thyself. And so that's what you should be concentrating on now, Pisces, along with a little forgiveness. Okay, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can see the show, read our blog, and hear our podcast on our website, starborninstitute.org. Bye. <music>